It's a breakfast in PLOS TV Africa. We're looking at the second conversation, I mean, quickly, as much as we can, the issue of the security threats that's been put out according to the reports of the DSS. And now the Department of State Services, DSS, raised the alarm over a ploy by suspected criminal gangs to forge an alliance amongst themselves with a view to launching attacks on critical infrastructure and other frequented public places during and after the public holidays and festive celebrations. Now, according to the reports, the objectives of this planned attack is to achieve some self-serving interests as well as cause fear among citizenry. As much as patrons and owners are expected to be very conscious at public places and not to be weary as regards this development, the service is also saying it's committed to ensuring that the disruptions of uh, disruption pattern and violence that's been planned will not continue uh, as they look at partnering with other security agencies to ensure that necessary drills are embraced in order to ensure public peace and also ensure that uh, the peace of the public is not jeopardized. We do have Dennis Macri joining the con uh, conversation this morning. He's a former DSS director. Good morning. Yes, good morning. So l let's leave this now. Let's start the conversation on this note. Do you think that this is politically motivated? I mean, we have a report saying that self-serving interest, and they have linked it to 2015, the period where uh, soft targets, public spaces, gatherings were being targeted. And this is shortly after you have a lot of people saying, uh, you know, Jonathan is going to, they're asking him to become part of, you know, the presidential race. And maybe the APC have some intentions of imbibing. So do you think that this is politically motivated? Uh, well, everything is on the table. You cannot say whether it's political or it's not political. Everything is on the table. When it comes to terror, I think the whole idea is to create fear and to, you know, make the people uh, terrorize, terrorize the people. So, um, whether it is more politically motivated or religiously motivated, you know, is something on the table that the security uh, agencies and the people of Nigeria have to handle. All right, uh, Dennis, uh, it is really disturbing that uh, the DSS is putting out this particular threat to Nigerians. Uh, we, uh, it says uh, they're trying to take us back to the 2015 era where we had, uh, you know, markets uh, being bombed and suicide bombers and uh, all what not uh, happening specifically in the north. But let's talk about uh, the repercussion and what we need to do because it is really uh, mind-boggling that uh, we have. Um, issues of banditry and insurgency still plaguing us now. What do we do with these warnings as um, average citizens? Uh, how do we even begin to pro protect ourselves? Because uh, our leaders right now, they are not really completely interested in what's going on right now. The talk generally is about 2023 election consensus and all of that. So how do we protect ourselves? These uh, warnings have been issued. So what do we do as Nigerians really? Uh, you know, um, our citizens should understand one thing. Protection starts with you. Personal protection is number one. So um, it is not a matter of sitting down and waiting for the security agencies to come and do something. Uh, you call 911 or you call 211 and then they come. No. You, the protection of yourself starts with you. And the protection will, even where the agencies will come into play, will be when you have seen something or you hear something, you know, you say something to the security agencies and then they will help. So, um, security agencies are not magicians, normally, and that's why these alerts are being given out. Uh, if you have uh, places of relaxation, if you, are, if you have a church, if you have uh, a mosque, you should be able to start from now. It is not on the Salah day, right now, where you will start to protect those, you know, structures, those facilities. You know, if you have a hotel, you start from now. And you should be on 24 hours a lot. That's what the DSS is telling you right now. So people should start looking at their security plans, their security processes, 
to make sure that, you know, unnecessary or towards situations don't happen. And then, of course, everybody is encouraged to be situationally aware. Know where you are, know what is happening around you. But, but let's also get to this other uh, part of the conversation. A lot of people are saying, what's the difference now? And uh, some older persons are saying, you know, the, uh, the activities or the actions of the DSS should be secretly done and also be secretly executed. It's not for public consumption. You are from no, a director. No. What do you make of this approach? No, no, no. Security agencies the world, the world over will always inform their citizens of a threat that they have discovered. You know, while informing you about that threat, they also go ahead to see if they can leave that threat in the board. You know, so it is not a matter of um, uh, the security agencies already know about this. Why are they telling us? Why don't they go and do it? Of course, they can do it, and that's what they are doing. They will preempt some of them, but remember, they are not everywhere. So for those people who are everywhere, when you see something and you say something and inform them, the police or even the military or DSS, then they will swing into action to help out. Because this security issue is not for security agencies alone. It is for every citizen that lives within the border of this country. All right, uh, well, we get all of that. Uh, it is good that um, the DSS uh, is actually been very proactive, um, announcing this some um, threats to Nigerians, so they can be, uh, you know, on the alert. Uh, a good thing, you know. And it has also asked uh, for Nigerians to provide them with um, useful information. You know, that's another thing, providing useful information. But um, how certain uh, can Nigerians be that uh, in as much as they are providing this information, they still have their you know, anonymity and of course and they are not also under threat as well when they are doing their own part as uh, you know, law-abiding citizens? Because over time, the average Nigerian does not really trust uh, the Nigerian police you know, and some of these uh, sister agencies. Yes, I agree with you. There is a trust deficit which I think uh, the police especially, they are working on it seriously. And then, of course, like I always advise people, you don't just go and tell, go to a DPO's office and then go to uh, the door there or see a policeman at the gate and you tell you, tell him that, see, this is what I heard or what I know, you know. These are not the people you are going to give that information to. When you have any kind of information, go and see a senior officer. Go and see the DPO. You know, if you have chances to see the commissioner, go and see him. If these people are too far away from you, see your local government chairman. And this is a link that many of us are forgetting. This local government chairman, uh, uh, that's why they are there. They are supposed to help the people, the common people. So um, if you have any information, make sure you don't kill it. Because anything that could happen could happen to your sister or brother or relatives, or yourself. So, if you hear something, say something to the right, you know, to the appropriate authorities. All right, uh, <laughs> you have a last word. No, so I, th I think that that has become, you know, a phrase for us, uh, for security. If you say, say something, say something. But we should also act and do something. Those who should do something should do something. And we're talking about, you know, the police now and everyone involved. Arrest these persons. Let them face, you know, the wrath of the law. Thank you so much for being part of the conversation, Dennis Mercury. We do appreciate you. Thank you, Gary. All right, uh, that's indeed the size of the show for today. It has been uh, one uh, one day, really, you know, from <laughs> politics, you know, to all of the issues that we raised, uh, you know, on off the press uh, to security concerns and uh, what Nigerians need to be doing and how, you know, proactive uh, our security agencies, uh, you know, is. But uh, we must rest it at that, uh, you know, security is a collaborative effort. We all need to play our part. Having said that, we'll return again tomorrow. My name is Justin Akadonye. And I am Messi Ibopo. If you missed out on any part of the conversation, that's all right to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Thank you.